A case in point the executive director in the health ministry, Ben Nangombe, referred was when a patient reported distress while seeking treatment at a private health facility. Nangombe, who was speaking at the inaugural quality management conference, stated that the incident is not first. He emphasized the importance of enhancing quality service. I'm saying when you talk about quality, you must be talking about actually how this affects the individuals that we serve. So it should not be lofty statements. We must be able to cascade it to the lowest of levels where the population interacts with the health system. We must reflect on the current state of the health system. Although the ministry made strides in strengthening health care services and prioritizing patient safety by developing quality management, emphasis has been placed on effective implementation. The ministry has, for a number of years, implemented quality improvement collaboratives together with our development cooperation partners, particularly those focused on addressing specific gaps in HIV care and maternal and newborn health. That shows our commitment to translating policy into tangible, high-quality healthcare practices. When care improves at all levels, it contributes to increasing efficiency and cost-effectiveness in society, driving evidence-based practice and further ensures patient safety. Once these are in place, our clients, the community, and the stakeholders are likely to trust the healthcare system. Ensuring that health services are high quality is neither simple nor easy. While all healthcare systems seek to provide quality services, doing so requires strong health systems and requires putting policy and ideas into practice. Namibia has made strides in lowering child mortality rates. The 2024 UN report indicates that deaths among children under 5 dropped from 40 per 1,000 live births in 2020 to 38 in 2023. Newborn deaths decreased from 20 per 1,000 to 19 in the same period. However, Namibia is to miss the Sustainable Development Goal for Health by 2030 and projects to meet that only in 2038.